In a previous video I showed you the unofficial method for using the OTG function and charging simultaneously in micro USB phones and tablets. And in this video I'll show you how to make the docking station which is the official method for using the OTG function and charging simultaneously. You can convert any OTG cable into a docking station. But before I show you how to do that let me give you a brief introduction about docking stations so that you understand how they work. The docking station is an adapter that allows you to use the OTG function and charge the device at the same time. It is similar to OTG cables, but the difference between them is that OTG cables usually don't support charging the phone at the same time. Also, in the micro USB connector of OTG cables, the fourth pin and the fifth pin are connected together. But in docking stations the fourth pin and the fifth pin are connected together through a resistor. The value of the resistor depends on the device that you have and can be found in the phone's datasheet. For example, if you have a Samsung Galaxy S3 or a Galaxy S4, then you need to put a 64.9K resistor between the fourth pin and the fifth pin, I didn't have that value so I used a 68K resistor instead and it worked just fine. So, if you have an OTG cable and you want to convert it into a docking station, then you need to do the following. Step 1. Add an external USB power supply to the OTG cable, simply connect the red wire with the red wire and the black with the black, and leave the green and white wires unused. Step 2. If your OTG cable has a 4-pin micro USB connector, then you need to replace it with a 5-pin micro USB connector. Step 3. Solder a 68K resistor between the 4th pin and the 5th pin of the micro USB connector. And now the docking station is ready. To use it do the following. Connect the charger and the USB mouse to the docking station, and then connect the docking station with the phone. As you can see the device has accessed the docking mode, and now you can use the OTG function and charge at the same time. By the way, this device is not rooted, and the firmware is the original Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2 from the manufacturer. You can find the parts list for this project in the description of this video. If your OTG cable already comes with an external USB power, like this one, then you can skip the step which includes adding an external USB power to the OTG cable. Also, if you have an OTG hub cable like this one, then you need to open it and remove the diode, and then short its pads with a blob of solder. That diode prevents the power from reaching the phone and charging it. Thanks for watching.